Hello, let's have a look at the learning aim A of Unit 2. It says how components work together. Of course, these are not the original words. Do you remember the original words? Whose components? Yeah, that's right, the computer system components. How they work together. So today we'll look at how they work together. This is a sketch of all the components of a computer system. The arrows indicate how data is flowing between them, how they work together. This, the heart of the computer is a CPU. Then you have input devices which send signals, send data to the CPU. And you get output devices which takes data from the CPU and show it to its user, either human or another machine. Storage devices. Okay, the storage devices can feed data into the CPU and can accept data from the CPU, but they are called storage devices, not input or output. In the last lesson, you should have learned a few other things. What are they? One is the business sectors, what computers are used for in them. Okay, manufacturing, construction, health, retail and finance sectors, okay? Then you've learned about different types of computer systems. They're all called computer systems, but for different purposes. The first one is the, we call it the PC, personal computers. And then you have a server, which is a powerful computer, which controls network resources, network computers, network, network resources. And you've got a laptop, which is similar to a PC, but it's mobile is focused on mobility. mobility. Tablet, it, it's a small computer, but it's even more mobile, and it's input device, output device, or integrated into one touch screen. Okay, then smartphone, it's another one. The bottom two, people don't usually see them as computer systems, but they are. Game consoles, they're very powerful co co computer systems as well. And then programmable digital devices programmable digital devices. You can see them in households, in your cars, many places nowadays, okay? For example, the set nav system. At home, you've got a computer-controlled uh, central heating system, and so on, okay? And then you should have learned something about I I issues in technology systems means issues in using technology systems, okay? When you use them, you have a security issue because electronic systems could be hacked in and could cause problems to data. Therefore, you have to think about the data security as well as your uh, security of the system, okay? Then you have a copyright system uh, issue. Copyright issue relates to um, the protection of intellectual properties. That means software you use and even the, the product you produced using computers, okay? Because a digitized, digitized then can be transmitted easily and can be copy pasted easily, okay? And there are other issues as well. Environment, is the use of technology causing harms to the environment or is causing benefits, making them more protected? more sustainable. Okay, so those are the issues you should have learned already in last in the first lesson. So today we'll look at this one. The four sections, okay, four kinds of components in the computer systems. But in this lesson we'll look at input, output and storage devices. And next lesson we'll look at the CPU uh, which is the processor and memory, how they work. Okay, then you would understand how things work together in the computer. Now in this one, this part is the input device and this part is output device. It's easy to understand, okay? Keyboard is to type symbols into the computer. The symbols can be data, can be command, okay? So that's sending data into the computer, CPU. Mouse is also sending data into CPU, the clicks, scrolling on the wheel. Those data is sent into the CPU. Now, touch screen, Whatever you touch with the finger or with the uh, stylus, that information is also sent to the CPU for processing as your input, okay, your human input. And then scanner, scanner is to turn hard copy, print copy information into digital information. And it, they can be pictures, 
and it can also be editable text. Microphone, turn your voice into a digitized uh, signals so that you can hear, turn them into MP3 and listen to them. Digital cameras, capture pictures and send them in. And this one is game controller, send your interact, your actions into the computer, which represent, could be firing, could be move, jump, hopping. Yeah. This is the last one, sensors. There are so many different types of sensors. They all can be used for capturing data and send it to the computer for uh, processing. For example, it could be a, a smoke detector and send to the computer. And, and it can be a temperature sensor. And it can be a light sensor and sound sensor and so on and so on. Okay? Input devices, sending data into the computer. This one is sending digitized data directly. This one might not be. They are analog signals, and we'll, lo we'll look at how they are turned into digitized digital signals for the computer to consume. Okay? Output device is to take information from the CPU and to produce output for humans or other uh, machines to use. Printer, print hard copy. Headphones, speakers, sound output. Screens, the visual, graphic output. This one, projector, also visual. Now this one, robotic arm, has electronic signals, and this one is turned into mechanical movements using motors and different other kind of uh, devices. So they are called actuators. Actuators means act on the signals to turn them into kind of a real life movement. This one, this looks like a control uh, joystick, but actually it can give you feedback, like uh, the vibration when you fire. And so it is classified as output. So it could be input, output together. So here are a few questions. Which ones are input and output together in one? I can see touch sensitive screen, that's the one. You touch and you also see it on screen, that's, that's the one, okay? And this is another one, the action, the vibration and the movement felt by your hand. Now, what kind of sensors? We've talked about already, different kind of sensors, okay? Without sensors, automatic systems won't be able to, to, to work, okay? We'll have a look at later. Uh, actuators, we know this one. So you turn electricity into rotation movements or sliding movements using this kind of devices, actuators, okay? Any other input devices? Yes, we're gonna look at them now. The devices for capture, capturing data, they are input devices, obviously. This one is a magnetic strip reader, this one. Credit card, that's one. Yeah, credit card, old type credit card. Now this one is the optical character reader, OCR. This is a little scanner. You can use the flatbed scanner we've seen before in the last screen. And this one is uh, handheld could be, and you roll over the text and scan them in into picture, then break it down into text, letters, okay, and words. This one, OMR, like the lottery machine. OMR is called an optical mark reader. Okay, you read the marks on a piece of paper and you decide whether the data is zero or one. This one, RFID. In, used in shops, some of us use the, uh, the ID cards. Okay, this one, barcode reader. So it's another input device. Very quickly, storage devices. Here we refer to only the permanent storage devices. Okay such as the hard drive, solid state drive, and uh, CD drive, DVD drives, and so on. We're not referring to, um, to the main, main, main memory, RAM, okay, here. There are only three types of media so far. One is the magnetic storage media, where you can have a hard drive, the old type of hard drive, um, or you can have the very old one, floppy disk drives, and you can have the tapes as well. Okay, that's hard drive, magnet magnetic material. Now the latest one is a solid state media. It's using electronic circuit board to store data information. Okay, now you could have the solid state hard drive. You can have the, the, uh, the memory card, the SD card. You can have U USB memory uh, sticks, the pen drives, okay. <clears throat> now the optical media is to use laser to retrieve and store data. Now you can have a CD and DVD. Now Blu-ray is the new addition to it, okay. The disc, usually called a media, 
and uh, the, the drive is called device, okay? USB, sometimes, where's your USB, where's your USB? The USB itself is not a storage device, it's a, it's a, a communication method. A USB memory stick is the, drive, the storage device, okay?